Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning. Today we're gonna to start some Orient Express Asian eggplant. Be right back. Well, welcome back. Going to get started on our Orient Express. It's an Asian eggplant, nice and beautiful eggplant. I'm gonna, I've got them started in the seed trays here so we can uh, watch the progress of these all the way up until harvest. And we're gonna also uh, grow these in some five gallon buckets. I know a lot of people don't have a lot of space to work with, but you can grow these in a five gallon bucket with no problem. So this is ideal for folks that just don't have, you know, have limited space in your backyard to work with. But anyway, this is a great eggplant. Nancy and her mama just loves these eggplants. And I got these seeds at johnnyseed.com. So if you wanna get some of these seeds for yourself, go to their website, check it out. They got a pretty big selection of seeds and they're good people to work with, a good, good, good selection of all kinds of stuff on there, including flowers and everything else. So check out johnnyseed.com. You might uh, uh, find something you want to grow in your spring garden this year. So let's get these things germinate and get them started and we'll be back in the days ahead and we'll plant these together uh, after they get up you know, big enough to uh, transplant into the buckets and we'll grow them together. We'll see you soon. Well, our Orient Express Asian eggplant has been in the seed starting trays for 10 days. As you can see, they're pretty slow starters. Takes them a while to get some traction, but they're getting there. So uh, we'll keep our eye on this. We'll be back in a couple of weeks, take another look at it and see how they're doing. And we'll track the progress all the way to harvest. Back in a couple of weeks. Well, good morning. Our uh, Asian eggplant, Orient Express, has been out on a hardening table and they're hardened off and they're just about ready to get into some containers and get these things growing. Today is uh, April the 10th and we planted these on March the 10th. So they're actually uh, just one month old. We planted them from seed until today is uh, one month. So they've done quite a bit. If you take a look at them up close, you can see that they've uh, put on some good true leaves. The stems are good and healthy, they're good and straight, and it's an overall good, good looking plant, but as you can see, they're starting to get pretty big to be trying to live off of this little uh, seed starting cell, so it's time to get them out of these um, seed starting cells and get them into some buckets. So we're gonna grow that together today, show you how we do it. Be let, let's get started. Okay, I got my five gallon buckets ready. Um, what I'm going to do is I usually fill these buckets up to about three or four inches from, from the rim, the top of the rim, with my uh, container mix. And this is the container mix that I make myself. So if you want to um, make this yourself, uh, there's a video that Nancy can put a link on, you know, to go check that video out. It shows you how to make this yourself at home. It's really nothing to it at all, believe me. It's pretty easy. Now, if you've only got, you know, just a couple of... Uh, plants you want to do just go get you some pot and mix at the local nursery and put them in the buckets but for me since we we plant a whole lot of containers around here i usually mix my own mix okay so we got the mix in um, got it about three or four inches from the top the next thing i want to add in is some blood meal i like to add blood meal in for these eggplant because i want to push a lot of blooms and a lot of healthy root growth so let's put about I usually put about three tablespoons, which is one small handful in my palm of my hand. And uh, that's how I know I got three tablespoons because 
I measured three tablespoons in my hand before and I know how it feels just over many years of doing it. So I put in my little handful, three tablespoons of uh, blood meal, I mean bone meal, because I want that phosphorus. Next thing I want to put in is about the same amount of blood meal because I want to push a lot of healthy um, foliage on this plant to keep an overall healthy plant. Helps good foliage to get a good photosynthesis and gets, keeps everything running smooth. Okay, there we go. I got the, um, the mix in. Now, let me water this in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flood this bucket and let that water soak all the way down through because this container mix is kind of dry. So that what that does is it pre-soaks everything, you know, from here down. So that's pre-soaked because I put it in dry, remember? So let me pre-soak that and get that set, then we'll go to the next step. Okay, our buckets have been soaking. They've been soaking about 10 minutes, so that water's worked its way on down through the bucket. The next step is what I do is I take some more of my container mix and I top off that bucket till I get it about an inch from the top of the rim, see, with the new dry, the dry mix. And I take my hand and I'm gonna punch a hole in here and I usually go from the tip of my middle finger to the middle of my palm and that puts in what I have learned over the years, a hole that's just right. I got that in. Next thing I do is I put in another couple of tablespoons of bone A couple of more tablespoons of blood right in the hole. Then I pick out some of my very best plants, my seedlings, to use in my buckets, the biggest, healthiest, strongest looking ones I see. And here's a beautiful one right here. Got good root growth, good root structure, good stem, good color in the leaves. So I'm looking for, that's what I'm looking for is the very best I have. So I put that right in in the hole, then I collapse the sides. See, I collapse the sides around it first. Then I push it in and I pack it, right? And you want to pack it pretty tight for your, for your plant. So you don't, want to, you don't want any air in there with it. So get that in. Next thing I do is I add a little bit more mix in there, container mix, to bring that level back up closer to the top. I'm not planting it any deeper. I'm just raising that soil level back up because when I water this in over there on the grow table, it's going to sink down again. So there we go. Let me do one more, will you? Let's do one more together. I add in my mix, get my soil level back up near the top of the bucket until I'm about a inch below the bucket. Okay. Punch my hole in. Add in my blood meal and my bone meal. Pick me out a fine looking seedling. Put it right in the hole. I collapse the sides around it. Pack it. Okay. Now I just add some more soil. Okay, there we go. Let me get the rest of these other three buckets planted and then I'll meet you over there at the grow table and we'll, we'll take it to the next step. Okay, we got all of our buckets over here on the grow table and they are looking forward to growing some eggplants for us. So the next step in the process is I uh, take these 
these bamboo canes are just two foot long bamboo canes and you can get these at any garden nursery center if, the, if you're having trouble finding them um, go to the about page on the back of our channel and we have an Amazon storefront link and you can uh, get yourself some of these if you can't find them nowhere but here's how I do these I take the, the bamboo cane and I go right next to that stem of that plant in a in a uh, triangle pattern see how I'm doing that and it um, traps the stem of that plant right inside of that triangle pattern I just made. And the reason I do that is as this plant is maturing, especially in the early days, that you know it's, it's subjected to wind and rains and things like that. And that little seedling's kind of weak at first. And this gives it some support to keep it from kinking and breaking over. And as the plant matures and grows up, um, it's going to get top heavy and heavy, heavily laden with fruit. So the next thing I want to do is after I get the, uh, the bamboo stakes in place is I take me one of these little um, tomato cages, just the small one that you get you know, at any garden center, and I'll go right over the top of that little plant, and I got that little guy right inside that so he can mature and grow into this, uh, this little um, frame here uh, without... Um, trying to put the thing over it after it's mature, you just tear up your plant. So get your tomato cage and put it right over there in the very beginning before it ever starts to grow and let it mature and grow into it, okay? Now let me get the rest of these put in and we'll uh, do the final water and take a look at it. Okay, the last thing I do is I do a final water to water it in. Now, remember when we planted these, I pre-soaked basically 75 percent of this uh, bucket before I put anything in it so I don't have to water very much after I got it planted and I just water in a circular pattern right around the bucket and I try not to water directly on top of the seedling I try to go around it and give it enough water so that it can soak in inward to the plant that helps to pack it you don't want to give them too much water and you root rot them. Remember, they're still just a little seedling. Okay, so that's how I do them. Go right around the plant. Best I can. And that plant is ready to go. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed uh, getting getting these things started with me. We'll be back in the days ahead. We'll watch the progress of each one of these little plants all the way up until we, um, until we harvest them on, uh, on another, another day. We'll, we'll grow them all the way out to harvest together. So we'll, uh, we'll be back in the days ahead and watch the progress. See you soon. Well, good morning, friends. Just wanted to give you an update on our beautiful Orient Express eggplants. If you'll remember, we planted these from seed on March the 10th, and today is May the 10th. So it's done remarkably well in just two months. They're already um, above the wire cages, you know, the support cages that I put in the buckets. So these things are loving these buckets. They do great in the buckets. Come on up here and take a close look. You can see that, um, you know, they've already started putting on some blossoms. Beautiful uh, lavender bloom with a little yellow face on it. And you notice how they kind of turn down the, um, the stem that leads out to the bloom, goes into down position. So when it starts to produce that beautiful eggplant, that eggplant can hang down in the vertical position. So these things are only just a couple of weeks away now, you know, from uh, having an eggplant. So we'll be back in the days ahead as soon as these start to produce and we'll come out here and get us a mess of them and uh, we'll pass them off to Nancy and Nancy's mama. I don't really particularly care too much for eggplant. Well, I kind of like it fried, you know, somewhat. But Nancy and her mama, they love that stuff, and they just make all kinds of Korean 
um, dishes using the, the eggplant. So these are the long slender ones that uh, are just right for what they want to use. I like the, the big old black beauties, you know, where I can cut some big round slices and, you know, fry them like a fried green tomato sort of. But uh, these are specifically for Nancy and her mama, and they're going to enjoy them immensely. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks and watch the progression of these until we get to harvest. See you soon. Well, here we are, June the 5th, and we started these beautiful Orient Express eggplants on March the 10th. So really only about three months and you got a really good yield out of these uh, five gallon buckets. This is our first harvest of these. Um, Nancy and her mama, they love these things. I mean, they make all kinds of stuff with it. That, um, I'm sure they're gonna just enjoy today. So let's go ahead and harvest off this first cutting. Uh, these will continue to uh, grow throughout the rest of the summer. They're indeterminate, so they, they will continue to produce eggplant. And I mean, I've, I've got little purple flowers covered all over this thing. And once I harvest these, um, this, these first fruits, that will push the rest of these next fruits right on out. So <laughs> Nancy and her mama got a, you know, pretty much a endless summer supply of these. So let's, let's get some of these cut up and um, We'll, I mean, uh, harvest off and we'll head over to the um, harvest area and clean them up a little bit. And let's take a look at them up close. So let's get, let's get started. Beautiful, huh? There we go. There's our first harvest. Let's head over to the harvest area and wash these things up. Well, there you go. Got ourselves some eggplant. And I'm sure uh, Nancy's gonna enjoy this. This right here is about the perfect size for these. Not too big, not too small. They're very tender. And Nancy says this is when she likes them the best is this size right here. They can get much larger, but and they're still good to eat just fine. But the way that she uses them in her cooking recipes is this, is, this one right here is just right. So anyway, I hope you had fun tagging along with us on this little journey on uh, growing uh, Orient Express eggplant in a five gallon bucket. And as you can see, that really ain't too bad of a harvest for your first picking. And that's only out of five little buckets. And you can get a tremendous amount of eggplant out of five, five gallon buckets. You can, you can grow one or two buckets and get plenty, but um, we just wanted to show you that you can do this in a five gallon bucket. So if you just got a small patio or a very limited space in your, your, uh, your house, your home, um, this might be a good candidate for your spring garden. So we want to thank you for watching. I hope the videos brought a little joy to your heart and a smile to your face. So until me and Nancy see you next time, we want to thank the Lord for this beautiful eggplant. By his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.